listening to Love Gun Sell Freedom with Luca Zanna. This is the final hour, the hour about love. Uh, we had a great guest. I really enjoyed Jorg from Germany. I think it's so important. You know, this show started like an idea of a local show, as I said, when uh, this opportunity was given to me. And uh, I realized soon as soon um, that our problems are a reality. What we are facing as uh, Americans, and of course, as Arizonans in this case, this is a bigger problem, you know, freedom and uh, humanity is under attack. And uh, I don't say that I feel better when I know that other people around the world they are facing the same things. No, I feel sorry for them. But at the same time, I think this is we can use this as an excuse, as an opportunity to unite as human beings from around the world to, uh, first of all, bond with each other because it's important to find each other. This is also the purpose of the show, to find like-minded people that somehow, uh, thanks uh, the event to the events, thanks to friends, thanks to God, I believe in God, we've been, uh, we had a chance to, uh, to wake up. And maybe now at this point, since we know a little bit, I don't say we know it all, but we know a little more than before, I believe it's our duty to share this knowledge. And also another important part of the show, it is for me to empower, to inspire regular people to do extraordinary things. You know, yes, I had a great guest, I had a famous activist, I have a movie producers, we have politicians, whatever you want to say. But at the end, you know very well, for me, the most important guest that I have is the regular person that normally, you know, just a regular man or regular woman trying to do their life, you know, take care of their families, work. At the same time, in the little spare time they have, they try to do everything they can to try to wake up the rest of us. That's the key. That's the only way we're going to take it back. Now, I talked to you before, during the first part of the hour, I've been sick the last uh, weekend. The last week has been terrible. And I really believe that, unfortunately, I associate this situation with what's going on in our skies. We have proofs and evidence that the government, in this case, the federal government, has been testing on civilians without our consent, uh, germs, chemicals, and many other things. In Mojave County, we know very well the Mojave downwinders, they've been experimenting nukes and people died. Now. I don't know is exactly what they're doing, what type of products they're sharing in the sky, but we know that all these trails, they're not just vapor trails. Even if they were just some sort of JPL, you know, this uh, jet uh, uh, propellant, jet fuel, that would be carcinogenic, uh, carcinogenic right there. So uh, I have uh, found through Facebook, and I really want to use this tool as a great opportunity to find like-minded people, or people at least have something to share important, a great lady, from uh, Arizona, exactly Peoria. I've never been there. It's uh, down in Phoenix area, M must be a part of Phoenix. Uh, that uh, she has incredible little camera and thanks to the technology, but important thanks to her activism, she found very, very interesting. She created really very interesting videos reporting and documenting these uh, strange planes that appear and disappear. And not only that, also, of course, you can see in one of the latest videos that I noticed today, something that, of course, uh, if you are, at, you know, you pay attention, you can see these planes, they're supposed to be just regular commercial jets, they turn it on and turn it off. You know, for all the people out there still believe that this is just condensation vapor, wake up. Don't be an arrogant bastard because, you know, unfortunately, your arrogance is going to make us pay every also to us. Now, before I get too excited, now, you know, when I get excited, my English goes to hell and I start to get kind of emotional. Let me bring the lady in because I think she's much better than me also explaining what's going on. Okay, her name is Charity. Charity, are you there? I am. Nice to meet you, Charity. How are you, first of all? I'm well, thank you. Thank you very much for your time. I know that, you know, you're family mom and uh, you got a lot of things going on but i want to thank you for your activism and i want to thank you of course for your videos but before we go ahead tell us a little bit about you what do you know about this situation ca called weather modification slash chemtrails and when did you wake up you know because at some points we were all ignorant and we thought that we were just seeing regular planes what happened to you how did you wake up right well between 2008 and 2009 I distinctly remember waiting in the carpool line to pick up my kids from school, and I had watched several aircraft uh, flying overhead and were making like what looked like hopscotch to me or a hatch 
stitched red in the sky. I thought that was so weird because I had never noticed anything like that before. And I just kept watching, and it seemed like some of the trails were big and some of them were small. But in the end, by the time uh, my kids came to the car, they had expanded, and I thought that was just so strange. So when I had come home from school, I brought the kids home. I had Googled lines in the sky, and it just came up with, like, the typical, you know, condensation trail, and that was that. I felt satisfied. I had read, you know, several things about condensation trails and what conditions are supposed to be present for that and blah, 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 and I really didn't think anything of it, you know, for a few months, but I just kept looking, and I started noticing them more and more and more, and at the time, I was, I say, I was on a a spiritual journey, but not to do with chemtrails. So it's more just about an enlightening and awakening of, um, you know, what's going on with the global agenda and the powers that be and the whole new world order. That was all just coming into my life and new information. And I was going through that. And in that process, I was listening to this uh, radio uh, show host, Alex Jones, Mm -hmm. and he was talking about chemtrails. And I thought, what the heck? And he so annoyed me for some reason. I thought, this guy, you know, he was right, ironically, on this. But he just so annoyed me that it sent me on a personal quest to try and disprove him. So I started going through um, Con Trail Science, which is then coined Con with a hyphen trail, which is accurate. And also, at the same time, I was researching chemtrails. Because I thought, to not have a biased opinion, you really need to explore both. So I would kind of go back and forth between reading about it on both sides, watching videos on it, and then I would go outside and I would just watch. Well, at the same time, my daughter, I was having to pick her up early from school because she was getting this crazy, severe drainage from her sinuses. It would just run like a river. Wow. And there was no explanation for it. We would take her to the doctor, to our naturopath, you know. It Mm -hmm. was very frustrating. She would miss several days of school just because she was just draining so severely. And like I said, at the same time, I was watching these, you know, and doing some research on what was going on in the sky. And I started to notice that on the days where it was really, like, heavy spraying, she was worse. And so was my husband. And sometimes I would get headaches. And so at that point, I just kind of switched gears. And to me, I had made a personal decision that it wasn't going to matter if it was chemtrails or if it was contrails. We're being affected by this, and it's changing our weather. When the sky becomes completely blanketed in aerosols, and you can't see the sun, it's camouflaged over, then it's affecting your health. You're not getting the vitamin D from the sun. Exactly. Exactly. You say something so that's kind of where it started. You say something very important, Charity Charity, because I tell you, at this point I don't care if it's chemtrails or just a, a regular uh, propellant re- emission, you know, from the, the the jet fuel. Even if it was just jet fuel, you know, I don't know any type of commercial uh company that would uh, crisscross and make crosses in the middle of the sky without purpose wasting billions of dollars probably of of of, of gas okay Pro- propellant jet fuel so there is something that and no and on top of we know there are enough documents out there i talk about this many times on the show there are senate uh, from the 50s since the 60s there are official senate's documents that uh, questions the first of all the legality and also the dangers of weather modification and also the military using it as a weapon so we know the only people that they don't know there are people that don't want to know. They, they, as I said, uh, ignorance can be fixed very easily. You know, it takes probably a couple hours. We can fix everything. But arrogance, that's very hard to fix. Uh, that's the problem. And, you know, and what fears me the most, you know, I'm not afraid, but normally what really I'm afraid is not these people in government doing this, but is the average pe- pe- person out there in denial that uh, wants to hide his fear and also is a cowardice. And I want to try to call people names, but I really believe that people, they want to avoid this because they are afraid to take a stand. And it's so easy for them to live in their comfortable world and thinking that everything's perfect, like some sort of intrumer world. So that's my opinion. What do you think about this? Why do you think people, they're still in denial? It would be so easy to stop if everybody could connect their eyes with their brain and say, wait a second, 
What are, what are you doing here? And go to their politicians. What do you, why do you think people are still so stupid out there? Well, it really used to make me really upset and angry at the apathy that I saw in everybody. And especially, like, people that I didn't know were more actually open to considering, you know, because I do believe it's controls. I don't believe that it's a natural phenomenon. But like I said, it, it wouldn't matter either way because we're being impacted. But I believe that right now the problem is people are in a slumber and it's intentional and it's because of all of these particulates that are in the chemtrails that are bioaccumulating in their body, building up along with whatever they have in their diet, if they're on pharmaceuticals. It's like a cumulative effect and they're literally in a chemically induced coma from all areas, from the fluoride in the water, from, you know, whatever prescription pills they have to take, from whatever their lifestyle is, and then, you know, you have this, these particulates literally that you're inhaling every day. So I think that people, some people just cannot get out of that apathy. No, I agree with you. There is, there is a lot, lot of factors, you know. People, of course, they're also afraid, but there is also, we are under chemical and, uh, you know, at psychological attack between being brainwashed by the average America, eight hours of television or drinking water with fluoride that we know very well that was created by, uh, you know, tyrants like uh, during Hitler or during the, the, the Russian Revolution when you used to put people in camps to completely right. create like zombies, okay, remove their will and, and, and lower their IQ. And that's why there's all these zombie shows out because literally mm -hmm. 90% of the population they're like automatrons, so they are a bit like zombies. Not, and, and I'm not trying to say that to be mean, but that's why all of these shows are out. It's true. <laughs> all I... of these zombie shows, because they're a portrayal, you know, from the elite point of view of what the main population of people are to them. And it's true. And unfortunately, there are also official um, declassified the military operation uh, last couple of years by the Department of Defense. There were some sort of a military training exercises on U.S. soil that they were recreating scenarios where the military, they were fighting the zombies. And I'm not making this up. This is real. So think about it. They really look at us like zombies. Now, but you know what? We are not zombies. We are here. That's why we are, you know, we're doing what we can. And I'll do everything I can in this humble radio show to try to reach out people like you that we can multiply this energy. I believe that every one of us has more power than they want us to believe. Especially now we still have access to uh, internet and uh, Facebook can be used instead of just for picking up chicks or try to talk about pizza and other stuff. We can use these tools to uh, make things good, you know, to try to uh, wake up our fellow humans. So. I want to commend you, first of all, for your great videos that you do. You have, a, I think, a very commercial little uh, camera, but a great quality. Can you tell us exactly which camera are you using, how much you paid? Because I want to give you the opportunity to everybody to look into this camera. Please, go ahead. Right. Well, I use uh, Panasonic Lumix FZ70. Okay. You can get that on Amazon. And it's about two, about $300. Wow, very good price. I mean, the quality is amazing. You got a great zoom. And I tell you, you did the latest, I mean, you've done a lot of great videos, by the way, that if you want, uh, uh, you can share your Facebook page or if you have a website, you're welcome to say about it so people can reach you out. But more important, I want uh, people to get the idea what they can do with a little camera like this. And I tell you also, you know, listeners, don't think that we are just here to become the next Steven Spielberg that we're going to load up with thousands of videos and then we watch it for ourselves. No, I want you to take this video and you shove it into the face without being physical. I'm just talking about in an allegoric sense, you know, to your local elected politician who's supposed to represent and voice our uh, concerns. That's the most important thing we can do because we need to reach out our politicians. Who is your state legislator down in there in Phoenix? Who is your state senator and your state representative, uh, Charity? Um, uh, you know what? I I honestly don't remember. Okay. <laughs> uh, the last time I was sending letters to um, John McCain. Okay, that's and, a, and I haven't ever heard a response okay, from that, him. So. That's a waste. That's a waste of ink and stamps. Save the money. Okay. But, Just, he, but he was the senator. I and understand. But I feel you, terrible that I, I'm honestly with as far as I, I think that that's an avenue. My that's an avenue for other that I've left for other activists to handle. Mm -hmm. 
political avenue because that's just not my area of expertise. I feel if each person acted within their, you know, specialized set of skills to bring awareness to this, mm-hmm. then collectively we would reach like a critical mass that but let me let me tell you something. Blow the lid off of this. Charity, I'm well, not an me, expert, but okay. let me tell you one thing. You got great videos. You don't need to send them the whole collection. Just a couple of these videos. For example, the latest one that I was really impressed, you were able to get this airplane in Peoria, Arizona, very well defined, great definition, that turn on and turn off this sort of vapor trail. So for all the people out there that they believe the condensation creates this because of the altitude you can see very well that the same altitude same weather same day same moment uh this condensation that is not a condensation condensation but is a um, jet trail exactly turn off and on is uh, completely commanded by the pilot or whoever is in control of this plane now before even we go to see exactly what they're spraying so even just with this video uh, you can reach out I can, if you want i can send you the website it's very simple we have a state legislators we have uh, two state representatives and one state senator for every district. And these are the people I really believe you need to start to send an email. Like you put them on Facebook, send them an email and ask questions. Because if you have thousands of people uh, in Arizona doing the same, these politicians that we know they are very well afraid to even talk about these things, they cannot come back anymore to this district because we're going to still hear and we are the majority now and we know the truth and we demand answers. So please, uh, um, you know, I know I don't say that you gotta do all this, but if you can, that's the purpose yeah, of well, the, I, I, do I the video. Yeah, I would definitely do something with that information if you shared it with me. Yes, yes, I will do that. I'll send you, uh, you know, the website. Uh, it's very simple. It's out there. Uh, but I'll, I'll, sometimes, you know, we think things that they are simple, but they are not always uh, so simple. If people they they just learn one part of the of what they're doing. So the Arizona legislation we- legislator website, and uh, you can go there, find your legislator your senator and start to call him once in a while or more important send them the email send them the videos and i would like to have everybody that is listening to the show that's what we can do because we cannot just go back into our homes and lock everything up and die no we're not going to die because we have responsibility towards us and towards our next generation that's why i want to bring you here because you're a mom and i know that you have love what you're doing is also motivated by love because you don't want your children living in, in an environment that is toxic. They, they're going to have diseases. For example, let me tell you, in Italy this year, according to my, the, the official report from the government, my mom still lives there, and she was telling me that. There was official from the mainstream news. In Italy this year, 50,000 people, about 50,000 people died of unknown causes. And the last two years, they've been increasing weather modification activities like you have no idea. You are are you are aware of that? What's happening also right. this in Italy too, in Europe, you know. So it's a real global uh, problem, and we gotta do what we can. Listen, I want to give you the last minute. Whatever you want to say, you got the floor. Please go ahead. Well, I, I was just gonna say that the whole motivating factor for me, or inspiring factor, is the love that I have because I want, you know, our kids to see the sky that we grew up in. I don't want them to constantly be under this blanket of aerosols that their body has to process. You know, people with compromised immune systems, this is uh, very taxing on their bodies, more taxing than, you know, anybody that just has average health. So, but I know that to affect change, to like have a positive effect on change, you have to have a goal or an idea that's bigger than your personal. So for me, it started like with just wanting to make my family aware and try and start small, getting people aware in my community to expanding onto a larger scale. So I just, I'm doing what I can within my set of skills to bring awareness to this. Perfect. Just from a mom's perspective. I mean, I'm doing, it sometimes frustrates my husband because he's like, gosh, honey, not another. Like, because I try and, capture videos that what that I believe will make people think like not they'll see something that will defy an explanation given by contrail science that will say oh well that's just a contrail well then explain how it turns on and off explain the rainbow color explain how two planes in the same altitude flying the same path one has an enormous plume one has a small one I try and post videos that are going to be thought provoking and 
allow the mind to be curious and want to expand on it a little bit. Does that make sense? Yes, uh, yes. And I, what I will do also, uh, I would like to applaud on lovegansfreedom.com, today's show. Uh, and I will put it this weekend also on the homepage. Uh, your video, that uh, one of your videos, the one I really like the most, the one that the airplane disappears. Seriously. I mean, I see yeah. that, but I never was able to take it on video, put it on video. I said a few times, and you will see the airplane turning it on, turning it off in the middle of these crazy clouds created by this whatever, only God knows what they spraying us, and then disappears. So, and that's exactly my goal. After you do... Uh, you know, whatever work you're doing to try to document this information, we need to start to share it, not just with our fellow humans, that they are very important because we need to reach critical mass, but also really believe it, we need to start the first chain of command here, the people that are supposed to represent us. And I tell you right now, and also I will send you a link if you want to, the website for our Arizona state legislators, okay? That I really believe that we still have access to communicate with them. People like McCain, they are useless. They are sold out. People of the global elite, they live in a completely another reality. They could care less, even if they know very well what's going on. But our state legislators, they come back home every two years. You know, there is always an election. So we got to really start to talk to them in a more active way and more important, show them this evidence. So this is the website. If you live in Arizona, please buy a camera, video camera, do your job, document this bastard spraying us all day long and ask what are they spraying us and then start to document if your health also is getting bad. But more important than reach your local legislators www.azleg.gov -leg azleg and then you will see there are the senators you have one senator in your district state west state senator and two state representatives write them send them videos send them photos and when next time when they come to you know in your area you know what talk to them and maybe some of them they're ignorant as i said ignorance can be fixed but if they're arrogant, they need to be exposed because there is no excuse anymore. This is not like, a, like a, some sort of a minor topic. You know, even taxation that I'm so vocal about it. If I'm dead, I don't care how many taxes you're going to save me, bastard. You know, I'm going to be dead anyway. Or if I'm going to get cancer, who cares? So that's the situation. Right. This is real. Listen, Charity, thank you very much. And uh, thank you again for what you're doing. And please let me know if you ever talk to one or write an email to one of your legislators, uh, if they ever write you back or how things going with that. Okay. I sure will. Thank you. Perfect. Now, guys, thank you very much. You've been listening to Love, Guns and Freedom with Luca Zanna on K-Talks 1340 AM. And I want to remind you, if you want to support the show, it's very simple. This is not NPR. We do not steal your tax dollar, you know, through the government. No. First of all, support the station, 1340 AM, with the local sponsors. But if you want to support this show specifically, it's very, very simple. All you need is just 99 cents. You can go to my website, zanna.us, download any of my songs for just 99 cents. And doing so, this show is going to stay free and on the air. Thank you very much. God's willing, I'll talk to you next Sunday. Ciao.